in America, we presume that the news channels we watch are speaking to us in a way that makes sense. The truth is that each news channel and each news network and each type of news <laughs> program has a different bent. What we know is that we choose the program that feeds our soul. What we also know is that we make friendships with those that do not impede us. But what we can feel is that, that we have the right to be as real as we can be. But when we start to appeal to a person's soul, when we part, start to sow into a person's heart, and when we start to engage a person's mind, this is when the relationships become real. In America, we have the right to pick and choose who we spend time with. In America, we also have the right to put up a wall to people who are not behind us. In America, we do have the right to disparage the person, but the problem we get into is the legalities of whether or not it's lawful, right, righteous, or real. There are people that start to get tainted by talking about their relationships with other people, and those other people become jealous and ruin God's plan relationships. I talk about this regularly in my book, Soul Keepers, and I talk about this regularly to family that are impeding my rights in America. You see, they get away with it because they can group up and say these things that are complete and total utter lies, and yet they think that God is allowing them under his eyes. The lies of America is that we came to America in the pilgrim and settler's days to become anew, to have the right to pursue religion, to have the right to pursue happiness, to have the right to pursue prosperity, and that's what Americans do. Our trouble today is that we also have other nations who are trying to pursue similar things, and they don't have the right to do it. They slip in through the cracks, they walk across our borders, they come in through studentship, and they never leave. And that taints America.